So the first priority of this budget is to build on the decisions that we took in the emergency budget last June and in the spending review. And those decisions are the essential underpinnings for economic growth and prosperity going forward over the next few years. But this budget is about going further. It's about taking steps that, are, that, that will help support the economy as it moves back to health again. That's why a big part of the work leading up to this budget has been the growth review, where we're looking across the economy at the barriers that government puts in the way of business, barriers to investment, regulatory barriers, issues in the planning system, the, the skills and education of the, of the workforce, all things that we can make changes to, to give business a better chance of being successful, to help the private sector lead the economic recovery, which is what we want them to do, which we know that they can do. And there's been over a thousand meetings with, with businesses and business organisations as part of that growth review to look sector by sector at different things that we can do for manufacturing, for retail, for health sciences and, and, and so on. The growth review sets out in a detailed plan for each of those sectors as to how government can help create the conditions for them to grow. Then, of course, we have to carry on with the work we've been doing to promote fairness uh, in this country at these difficult economic times. Clearly, we understand very much how much pressure people and families are under with the very high price of fuel at the moment, for example. That, that, that cost of living uh, it, it is rising and it's having a big effect on people and we'll do steps in the budget as much as we can to help people deal with uh, that pressure. Uh, we've set out as a government a plan to, re to increase the income tax personal allowance so that we eventually reach the goal of ensuring that no one pays any income tax at all on the first £10,000 that they earn. We set out the first step of that in the emergency budget. In April this year, the personal allowance will increase by £1,000. That's a decision we set out last June. This budget will set out the next step on that. That is all about relieving the burden of tax on people on, on low pay to make work worthwhile, to help people have the incentive to go out and, and, and work. So growth, fairness, building on the platform that we set out in the emergency budget, stability of public finances, rebuilding confidence in the country, helping businesses to grow and ensuring that families who are under pressure from all the cost of living uh, 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 pressures that they have at the moment have some support through income tax, through other measures that we can, can take to help them.